We will be able to deal with mental health issues when we communicate with one another in a respectful way. When we reach out to one another, encourage one another, don't spew words of hate. That's what the Quran teaches us. The Sunnah teaches us. The Prophet says a true believer is not abusive, not hurtful and not vulgar. Why does he say that? Because if you were to use abusive words within your homes, some parents do that with their children. Some siblings do that too. So Allah says, if you were to use abusive words, subhanallah, you would be sinful because that's not the quality of a believer. Imagine using abusive, hurtful words in your own circles or to whomsoever it may be. And you want them to feel degraded for the moment. You don't realize it may sow a seed of hurt within their hearts that might be translated later on into mental health issues that could develop into the considering of suicide and even following it through. May Allah protect us. So don't say hurtful words to anyone. There is no need when you differ with someone. We've always said differ respectfully. You need to protect the mind. You need to understand that person is a human being too. Look at the head. Understand in that head there is a brain. Behind those eyes there is an understanding. There is a person with real feelings. There is a person who really has a connection with their maker just like you have. There is a person who might require help and assistance. You need to help. That's why the messenger peace be upon him says the best of all people are those who are the most beneficial to the rest of the people as many people as you can benefit that's what will make you the best of all the people may Allah grant us a deep understanding we are lacking in communication in our own homes with our own children we are forcing them to do things they don't want to do we belittle each other and then we talk about the struggles with mental health as though we are champions of it when we are actually guilty of making things worse for others today I want to reach out to all the parties who are struggling in this way. Remember, you may be the cause of someone else's issues, be they mental issues, emotional issues, psychological issues. You might be a cause of it. How you might ask? Well, the way you talk to them, the way you address matters, how you don't listen to them. You don't communicate with your own children, your own family members, your own friends, those who work with you or for you or human beings who are in need or who are in any situation. You make it difficult for them. Don't do that. Make it easy for them. Understand, communicate, learn to listen, learn to put yourselves in the shoes of others. That will definitely empower people. Learn to nod your head more than shaking it. May Allah grant us ease. When we guide people, learn to guide with goodness. Many people are struggling, honestly, with OCD and they're struggling with so many other issues. One called waswasa in the Arabic language, the whisperings of shaitan, a type of OCD. And many times from my experience, it goes back to those who preach religion as well in a very harsh way. The minute our children start listening to people who have a one track mind, they begin to doubt themselves. They begin to doubt their acts of worship. They begin to doubt whatever they're doing. They begin to feel they're unclean, impure, not worthy and so on. That's why the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has taught us about the balance between hope and fear. We don't give so much hope that a person begins to sin thinking it's okay. And we don't give so much of fear that a person begins to doubt themselves and start struggling mentally, emotionally, spiritually and so on. But we need to strike a balance between the two. The Prophet ﷺ tells us give more good news. Don't give bad news. Bashira wala tunafira. Give good news. Don't chase people away. Don't give 
them such that they will turn away from the deen. They begin to doubt their prayers. They begin to doubt their cleanliness. Let's speak to people with respect and give them a door every time, no matter how sinful they are. Show them the door of goodness and purity in the most loving way. We're going through challenging times. I'd like to think due to social media and the ability for a person in the north to witness the gifts upon a person in the south. And at times these are photoshopped, but it can hurt a person. The same applies to the east or west. People are connected so much with social media and with technology that they begin to cry and weep within over something they think another person has that they don't have. And they don't realize that person probably doesn't have it. You know, people take pictures and photos of themselves, Photoshop them to look absolutely perfect and post them. And I've come across people who've reached out to me saying, I'm ugly. I don't think I look nice. I've got a few pimples on my face. This has happened. These are real challenges that people are facing. And I tell them, my child, do you know what? Those are Photoshop. You're comparing yourself with someone who has way more pimples than yours, but they've covered them in one way or another. Don't depress don't stress and that's why I encourage you my brothers and sisters come out in your natural look the way Allah's created you in order to empower others to know that we are but flawed human beings that might be a statement that some might not agree with but it's fine it's just a point of encouragement I have come across so many people who don't like the way they look whereas they are so beautiful the most beautiful of us and they begin to doubt the way they look similarly because of the pressures of society, community. My brothers and sisters, take it easy. Remember, when you want to show only the good side, not only will you be depressed at some stage knowing that that's not actually you, but you cause the stress of so many other people. They struggle. They struggle coping. They don't even want to come out. They don't want to talk to others or appear in the presence of others because they are not happy with anything the Almighty has given them, yet they've been blessed with way more than you and I. May Allah bless every one of us. So let's be considerate of others when we show off things that we have or even things at times we don't have but we pretend to have. May Allah make it easy for us. My brothers and sisters, what I'm saying is absolutely important. This is the reason why Allah tells us don't show off. Don't show off things because others may be hurt or you don't know what's going to be happening. People show their married life. They show so many other things as though it's perfect. Yet they know it's not perfect. Let's talk about the challenges we go through so that others realize they are normal human beings. All of us go through challenges. Every one of us has issues. Be these issues health issues or whatever else it may be. Financial matters, anxiety, a little bit of it to a certain extent, yes. Our communication with Allah keeps us going. Our communication with others who are going to empower us with good words keeps us going. We are worthwhile. We do have hope in the mercy of Allah. And we are, being, we are gifted by Allah, my brothers, my sisters. So this is why I say, my beloved brothers and sisters, don't compare yourselves with others, not at all. They probably have less than you, but they're showing off in a way that in a way that they feel that they have more than you. No, my brothers, my sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. Today, I want you to empower yourself by speaking about the challenges you're going through. It's okay. We are normal. We are human beings. Thank Allah. Show gratitude for the favors upon you. And what are the favors? Allah says, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُوا should we show you something that is better than the material wealth that is being amassed by the people? That which is material being amassed. Everyone looks at the watches and the cars and the phones and the perfumes and the bags and the clothes and the accessories and so much more. And they become wowed by it. Allah says, should we tell you what is way better than all of that? The virtue and the mercy of Allah, the favor of Allah, your belief, your Iman, your consciousness of Allah, your relationship with Allah, that is far better. Look at people who have everything, but they are still depressed because they are lacking in their communication with Allah. 
in their relationship or link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you have others who have almost nil, nothing. But they're thanking Allah day and night. They have a smile as broad as you can imagine. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us contentment. So if you are affected, learn to speak, to communicate first with Allah, first with Allah and then with others. And if you are in a situation where you've been, abu you've been abusing others, bad mouthing them, making life difficult for them, doing things that have caused trauma and mental stress upon others, it's about time you stopped. Many parents, unfortunately, when they swear their children, when they belittle their children, when they call them dirty names, Wallahi, they don't realize the psychological, mental impact those abusive words have within their own children. La ilaha illallah. Let's stop that. If you're a true believer, if you believe in Allah, say words of love even when guiding your children. And ask yourself, tell yourself, subhanallah, that if my child wants something that is halal, if my child wants something that is good and pure, I'm not going to say no simply because of my whims and fancies. If Allah has allowed something, let it be. Alhamdulillah. And when you want to guide them, if they want something that is prohibited, do it in the most loving, the most kind way. In that way, you will empower people. Learn to talk to people. Don't betray others. Don't blackmail people. My brothers and sisters, we are on earth together for a very short period of time. Prove to Allah that you're going to be the best of human beings by reaching out to the rest of the human beings in the most beautiful and productive way ever. Alhamdulillah. Khayrun nasi anfa'uhum linnas. Khiyarukum ahasinukum akhlaqan. The best of people are those who are most beneficial to the rest of the people. And the best of you are those who have the greatest of character and conduct. This is why be courteous. Don't embarrass people. Don't utter words of racism, words of tribalism, whatever it may be. Say good words always. Empower people. Listen to them. Understand them. Help them achieve what they want. They actually belong to Allah. They belong to Allah, not to you. So for as long as they're intending something that is within what Allah has okayed, you need to understand. Smile and stand, rise to the occasion. Help them. Allah will help you. I end with this beautiful hadith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help will continue to be with his slave for as long as that slave or that worshiper continues to help another. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us and grant us all ease in the struggles and the sufferings Let's utter words of love more than words of hate. And my brothers and sisters, we definitely belong to Allah and we're going to return to Him. Inshallah, better days are to come. Much better days are to come. Look at how many people have suffered loss before they saw the greatest of success. May Allah grant us lesson. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabiyyina you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.